<clears throat> G'day there mates, my name is Mr. McGillicuddy, welcome back once again to my channel. Today, we will be returning to the story of Resident Evil 2. So, in our last video, we pretty much still had to look around the police station to um, get the electronic pass needed to open the gate to the parking pass. Once we did that, we got called up by Chief Irons again, he told us to bring Sheriff's necklace to the orphanage. But we cut to a segue that we played a Sherry trying to get away from uh, Irons. She didn't manage to hurt him by s smashing an acid or something through his face. Acetone? I don't know. But all I know is that is, uh, as soon as uh, Irons caught up with her, William Birkin attacked him and did something to him. I'm not sure what. So now we need to head to the parking lot. Or rather, oh, I'm sorry, and uh, just get things going from there, so let's get started. Now, I probably mentioned this in a previous video, of my Horizon one, but uh, I had to, re I need to redo the uh, video, because I accidentally deleted the um, recording, so yeah, this is me doing this again for, not the second time, third time, um, I don't know, I can't remember. And sorry for not reading that, but I just read that too many times already. And yes, I did grab that. Okay, I'm not sure. Not really, but I'm going to be dropping off the um, medical herb. Save some space for me. Now it's been a while since I played uh, played with an evil song, and by that I mean probably about a couple of weeks. But yeah. I do remember bits and pieces of what I need to do, but I am completely in the dark. But anyone that's back to the parking garage. Get out of here. You again? No, oh, right. I'm too mad about him. Okay, the map doesn't say that there will be one down here. So this thing will still be blue, so just a better heads up. <laughs> okay, so we can't really escape on the main road, but can you remember Leon's story? Shit. Looks like it's the other way. Still kind of knocked that down. Yeah, I actually saw that the zombies knocked down the gate there. So let them come out a bit. <sighs> and I'll run this way. And we'll be like gonna. Only way and I don't know why he didn't come through the gate. I mean, he surely put a fit for it there. Umbrella. <laughs> and there we thought. Just walk past. Don't bother shooting the dog here. Because it'll just disappear. Yes. 
Why did I lose a whole clip on that mic? Jesus. So yeah, we're gonna be having dogs chasing us. Here in the basketball court. Shit. Sorry about the buds in the background, but I can't help it with the microphone picking everything up. More herbs. Now, if you think that's the end of those dogs, you will be dead wrong. Yep, you see? Now, I'm trying to remember if you're slipping back this way, but I, yeah, no, I don't think that was. Also, if you turn around, there would have been a Mr. Raccoon statue here, but since I already went through the game and uh, had to redo it all again, so the auto save, yeah. I swear the AI on these, these dogs are just insane, especially when it comes to No, they're supposed to be not. Be the orphanage. Yep, it is, but there's supposed to be one more item out here. I'm just not sure where. Did I really run past it? Sweet baby, Jesus. Out here, of course. You know, there was one I just can't remember where. Oh, 
right now. I'm getting a headache again for playing this. And I just started. Hey, cha cha. Things out there. Ooh. I don't like where those claw marks came from. Hello? I have the pendant. Okay, so we're gonna head upstairs first. A couple of reasons. If you remember from the last episode, we saw Mr. Raccoon here, which was right about here. So shoot it to collect that. Now, if you go to the bathroom, we're going to find a few things in here. Stand there first, they sprite. Oh, damn it, birds. And here, a letter to the director. <coughs> Regarding the incident in question, I'm glad to report that it have been, has all been taken care of. On February 19th, test subject 628 escaped from the lab and broke into our facility. 628 was originally from this facility, facility's candidate pool, and apparently returned in hope of seeking help. 628 was quickly detained by our staff, as 628 was undergoing one of our lab's clinical trials, there was the distinct possibility that he brought the virus with him, so we disposed of all of our test subject, can test subject candidates as precaution. As precaution, the speedy disposal was concluded. Sorry, concluded by the security team to who, to whom I like to extend my thanks. As to our neighbors, we told them that due to the building's deplorable, deplorable. <sighs> That to this sudden, sudden state, we have temporarily moved all the children to a different orphanage to for their safety. As to the future of this facility, once it has been fully decontaminated, I plan to resume securing more test subjects. So, yeah, all the kids here will never come on about test subjects for these guys. Is there no more blood can go? Jeez. There's Von Sherry. I'm just sick of thinking that these people are pretty much used all the children as tap subjects. Irons! Uh, your fault! What? Took too long! Uh, oh God. Uh, Get off me! Uh, oh! Uh, That is a horrifying Jesus sight. Now you tell me for some, uh, something out of Alien's Notebook. That is not good. Clear! It's behind you! Don't Ugh. stop! I can see that? Or I can hear it. There's lumbering footsteps. Keep going. 
Elevator. In out, in out. Go, 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 go. Sherry, come on. Wake up. Wake up. Open your eyes. Hold still. I'm not infected. Sherry. Where's Sherry? Sherry. Sherry's fine. Do you know Sherry? It's an impressive display of strength. What happened to her? We have to assess the situation. Who are you? I'm Claire. I didn't foresee this. Excuse me. Where is she? Hello? What? Where oh, she? Annette. Tell me, what happened to William? I don't know. Who's, who is that? The creature responsible for this. Can you help me find Sherry? Seems to be evolving much faster than expected. Where are you going? Look, I don't have time to play 20 questions. Everything's under control. I need to find Sherry. My daughter is not your concern. Okay, that was one heck of a revelation. So Sherry is... So Sherry is uh, Nat's daughter, which is fine, I mean, she's... Sherry's her daughter? Mm. Yeah, it's William's daughter too. Cool, okay. Hard, hard rounds. Hmm. Report about G. The G virus clinical trial will be entering its final stage very soon. Before G, the new creature that will surpass humans is born, allow me to predict a few things about its biology and biological functions. Intelligence. The subject's intelligence will begin to drop immediately with their linguistics uh, side runs. Between them, it's a linguistic ability disappearing within a matter of days. Finally, they will lose their capability, sorry, capacity to reason and their humanity. G will be a creature of pure instinct, driven only to, only by a need to survive and reproduce. Ugh. Physical abilities, due to its unusual accelerated cell diversion evolution. It will be highly adaptable to any environment. Furthermore, with its amazing ability to repair itself through regeneration, it will be extremely difficult to completely kill to completely kill it with any conventional small firearms. Okay, so we need a bigger weapon for that. Reproductive behavior. This most remarkable feature will be its, its uh, intense desire to reproduce. It will instinctively search our humans with DNA that close with that closest match its own and implant an embryo in them. But the chances are of success are very low and if the DNA is not a close enough of a match, an un undeveloped G creature will be produced instead. 
I suppose the only ones who might be close enough of a match will be any biological children of the subject. Though... Oh jeez, we better find Sherry soon, soon then. chance. Yeah, well, I think we all know what that growling is. It's one of those um, G creatures that we saw back in Leon's story. Okay, I remember, I need to be careful up here because there's going to be a lot of uh, zombies in here. It's too bad I can't hit him through here. But I think I can headshot them through the... Oh, shut up, bud. I'm trying to record. So much for getting headshots with him. Oh no. If he didn't want to be slamming on the door by now. Okay, so we know this one. Letter to Director Owens. There's still something. Wait, there's flame rounds. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and I'll be right back, guys. I need to do something about these birds. <laughs> Alright, sorry about that, folks. Had to take care of some real life issues, namely the birds who needed that food and water change. And I wouldn't shut up. And there's another item in here, and... Right, yes. A knife. Sherry! 
Sherry, I'm coming! Hold on, Sherry. I'll be right there. <sighs> so, yeah, it looks like a now cat has a lot more about a recess than her own daughter. Yeah, so chess pieces here. Yeah. More handgun ammo. Oh, does these birds know they're going to be quiet? Oh, I gave them food, I gave them water, I even talked to them for a little bit, but they still would not be quiet. Yeah, so basically we need to use this to try and figure out the code, and to get the rest of the pieces too. Now with that said, anything that should deposit, yeah, the first aid kit, because I'm going to need all the space I can get. Okay, so we're going to go up this door here. We all remember most of this dead from Leon's side of the story, so... Explain too much, although I don't remember the combination of the shape safe lower there, so let's go find out about that, shall we? Come on, these, or I just bother them, and the T handle here. Yeah, we got into the idea for the cable car there. Okay, blue is Steve. I'm sorry, we're safe. That's right off the gun. I don't even know how to take a bloody hint. More blue hunts, so leave that in here. Okay, combination is two, twelve, eight. All right. And we got these. Now that's why I blew a key shoe. So when we're gonna go back and uh, combine them. Hold on to your necklace. Um, let's see. Can I get this out? Can I get these two? I'll deposit one of them. And I'll deposit the knife. Actually, no, I'm probably going to need it in case something does so start to grab me. Now, where's the hand go? So now, that's what that does, it means we can actually fire those special high power rounds. So this is pretty much a uh, magnum. Yeah. Let's reload that. Okay, so I can't really combine it, really restore on your nails until passing the uh, uh, pouches. Because we know there's about two more in the uh, game here. Now, we're done with the we're going to have to go down the exit door here. And we've got this guy here.
don't think they took care of them both, but uh, better safe than sorry. Took one out of shit out of there, and that's a uh, notebook. Why is my mic up? Now, we can always come back to that one, but uh, yeah, we're not gonna go down this way again, since that will lead us a special weapon, and the other two, um, pieces and the reason for that is well I'll explain to you in a moment if we go down here we've got another hand grenade and that's everything down here but we're still missing something here or rather over there for instance Creatures and stones here. Yeah, we got one coming up. Right about yeah. Switching ammo, but what the heck? Did it have multiple eyes instead of just only one? I don't know. But yeah, we had pretty much that freaking nature. Came into here, and we've got the hip pouch here, and we also got the film roll. Okay, so and if we turn around. Where did I go now? Just needed a wake up call. Shit. And we got the rest of the goon squad coming up on us. Sadly for us, we can't get into there because we don't have the key. That being said, we can get to, get to the key.
here, so we've got the video tape from down there. So back in here, where Leon started off before. Let's have a quick look around. If I remember right... There's gonna be another one here. Excuse me. More ammo. Always nice to have. Alright, so if you guys remember that I couldn't open this uh, from the other side before, I can do that here. And we go down, where you can actually grab the walker key. <laughs> So it's always good to take a detour. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, because as you see on this side, it's broken. I was a bit stumped before about that, but I'm glad I figured it out on the player side of the story. Okay, so we still got some of those down here. Some uh, yawning, that was my dad. Alright. There we go, it's down there, so let's go back up this way. Good. Might as well grab this one down here. We already know what's on it there, but. Oh, <laughs> never be too careful. I think there was no, um, Gunpowder here, do I? What the hell is up with you? <sighs> so I stand aside to see those headshots. trip for those but I think. There's no way I'm gonna be up picking picking both of those up. That being said yeah. you guys do remember there is actually a hidden elevator behind here. <laughs> which we will need to take to get back to the police station. We won't have Mr. X chasing us, we can freely run police station without being 
harass lion. Very, very nice. Knock this. Got our parts in there. I'm not sure what gun is going to be formed, but we'll find out when we come back down in the next episode. Glad I was able to get most of this done in one part, too, because yeah, I had no idea how I was going to make the form, but it was tactic. these ones since I won't be needing the key but I can grab this again back at the photo room and leave this in here since I have not got us to use it for out here so yeah that's going to be it for today's episode bloody hell that was a lot of hectic running to the ground oh what can you do what can you do what can you do okay so next episode we're going to be um, going for the police station and pretty much getting the items that are hidden in here. And then we'll be heading back down to pick up that upgrade for the gun. So that's going to do it for me, people. But first and foremost, I think we're going to have to do this. Oh, God, no. Marvin. <sighs> Sorry, Marvin. Alright, so that's gonna do it for me people. Sorry about that Marvin, thank you all so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy this video, please remember hit that like button. Also if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. Show your support for the channel. I very much appreciate that. And with that said, I'm gonna mouth off. So thank you all again and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Take care of yourselves and drive safety out there, people. Bye bye, take care, and have a good one.